All right, guys, how you doing? We are now getting online. 2 p.m. Ask B Mac. Live, folks, we're just getting on. I tell you, very busy, busy day, busy, busy day. And actually, let me connect. Uh, we're just now connecting on multiple platforms here. You can find it on YouTube. There's a sales popping off right now, which is cool. Um, let me see here. I'm going to connect Instagram right now and giving people a chance to join. This is Aspie Mac, Tech Money Talks Live. And uh, man, things are blowing up right now. 2 p.m. I'm looking at my phone here. Really cool stuff for sure. Yep. I'll tell you, um, things are really good. And uh, for those of you that have been keeping up, with, uh, sorry, I'm multitasking. I'm trying to launch Instagram at the same time. Um, but for those of you been keeping up, I tell you, the insiders are getting firsthand information to what the winners are. And, um, and so I'd say, you know, plug in, go to insiders at dropshipfunnels.com and you can get a chance to connect for sure. So it's really awesome stuff. And, um, let me just connect here. Uh, no, no, no. All right. So I'm going to connect now live on Instagram and we are in motion. So I'm going to give people a chance to join. Let me know how the audio is. I think the audio, uh, thankfully the audio I heard wasn't doing so good on YouTube. So one of the first things is let me know how the audio is. And if you're listening on multiple platforms, let me know because uh, that'll give me the heads up if uh, uh, what's taking place here. So drop a note if you can. Let me know if the audio is good or not. And while you're doing that, be sure to give a thumbs up right now and subscribe. That'll really help out the show as well. Um, so let me see here. I'm just getting things together. Today is... Wednesday, like I said, I mean, you see it on the screen. What to sell Wednesdays? We cover stuff related to finding winning products and things like that. And if you have any questions related to finding winning products, you know, be sure to shout them out right now for sure. So, also, let me connect to Zoom. Uh, if you want to connect and talk via Zoom, then you can go to bit.ly slash Zoom. And uh, that'll bring you into live conversation. We can have a live conversation right now uh, for everybody to hear. And I like that kind of thing. It's a part of, you know, keeping it real, things like that. So I'm launching my Zoom right now. And if you want to connect on Zoom and have a conversation, we can do that as well. Uh, so I'm just now getting on board here, getting that set up. So it's on Zoom bit.ly slash aspimag zoom and uh, you'll be able to connect live for sure all right so we got things we got things cooking and let's see here i'm just pulling everything together got my notes what to sell wednesday so i'd be say be sure to check uh if you want to see the live screen then you could check on youtube uh Facebook, and so on. We're streaming to multiple platforms. And um, here's a quick update. So the uh, podcast that we were supposed to have with Jim Edwards, he had to reschedule. And that happened like right before uh, the event going live. Um, so he asked if we could do it May 26th, uh, 1230 Central. So it'll give everybody a chance to give him a heads up. Um, he's the author of the Copywriting Secrets and... I tell you, it's a really, really great book. Um, go to copyrightsecrets.com. You can act, actually get it for free. And uh, it's really, really good thing. But we're going to dive into more. I mean, he's he's a master at copywriting, marketing, getting, you know, making those irresistible offers that I talk about. And I'll tell you, you know, he's a person that you want to listen to. He's got a lot of golden nuggets. Uh, I've heard him speak on stage. And I tell you, really great stuff every time. Um, it's definitely one to check and to be able to connect live 
uh, I think is really important. So uh, be sure to, to save the date for that. Spend the lunch hour with us, you know. And, uh, yeah, things are popping off for sure. I'm just checking uh, phone here. Um, sales, folks, for sure. And if you're part of the Insiders group, you'll, you'll be able to participate with that. And as a quick update, the uh, Done For You service is going to be opening up soon. So I'm mentioning these things. Today's about finding winning products, but let me just pull this up since I keep mentioning it. You can hear these sales that are popping off right now, uh, which is pretty cool. So there's definitely winners. There's definitely winners, folks. And uh, one of the things that I want to share is um, the Drop Shipping Insiders group is uh, there. And then also with uh, let, let me find the site here. Also with, uh, the done for you service, if you guys been catching, let me see if I can pull that up. And all right. Okay. So we got the insiders group. What I keep talking about, we do a lot of live streams and yesterday's was just all value as far as what's popping off. Um, basically, uh, a product that that's doing really good. And for those that were inside, were there. Um, I would say related to um, uh, dropship funnels in the done for you service. Get on the waiting list because that's going to be opening up soon. Um, so there were already people that missed the twenty one day challenge, um, but the done for you service is going to be opening up. So I'd say get on the list so that you can be selected the next group. Um, there's definitely winners that are popping off right now, and it's a really great time to, to plug in and be a part of it. And that's what I'm opening the doors uh, to you guys. But it's only for action takers and the ones that are uh, that are that are moving. Uh, those are the people that I want to work with. And you can hear it's popping off right now as I'm doing the live session. So very busy day. So today's about finding winning products. This you can actually pull up for free. It's products.techmoneytalks.com. You can get an actual workshop on some of the free techniques and then the paid techniques that I go through as far as finding winning products. But today's about going through it as well. I'm giving you a chance to uh, ask any questions, things like that that you have. So if you do, uh, be sure to drop them. But if not, I'm just gonna go through the list here. Uh, the 21 day challenge, that's sold out. I'm not sure why I still have that on the list. But finding winning products. So uh, let's dive into it. You know, one of the popular tools uh, that we can go through is AdSpy. You'll hear a lot of other um, YouTubers talking about basically pros. It's a pro tool. It's a paid tool. Um, for those that are part of the insiders group, you actually get to use it um, or with me, right, when we do our sessions. And you can leverage that. So that's, that's kind of the benefits that I'm talking about, leveraging the paid tools. And this isn't the only one, but this is one of many. So... One of the things here, actually off the bat, this looks like a print-on-demand drop shipping product right here uh, that's taken off. So I haven't even done any filtering yet on the search, and it's already popping off. So let's do some filtering here and just start diving in. If you guys have any questions, uh, that's really cool stuff. So what's the niche of the winner? There's a bunch. Uh, I'm testing a lot of products right now. Um, and you want to start thinking that way. So a lot of things that are related to what's happening right now in current events. Um, one, one way to find out uh, what popular niche are taken off. I think I covered this before. If you're watching, watch, if you want to see my screen, I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, so it's called trendhunter.com. This is a free free site that you can actually pull up. This right here, uh, we'll start giving you a lot of ideas as far as what's trending currently. So it's not just Google Trends where you have to type in your own thing. This thing will feed you ideas. And if you want to see, like if you're watching on Instagram, I got my screen right here. This is Trend Hunter. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that you see. So if you want to see my screen, uh, connect to uh, YouTube or Facebook and you can see what I'm sharing there. Um, but this kind of stuff, you could see events, COVID-19. And let me know if the screen's big enough. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, different trends, insights, ideas, topics, 
So all this kind of stuff is, you know, you want to just make two and two together to to uh, really pull things up. Look at Travis Scott, popular. Did you guys ever? Do you guys catch that when Travis Scott did that um, that thing on Fortnite? Man, I tell you, that was really cool. He's doing some cutting edge things for sure, and uh, this thing is just really awesome. So curated copying. Um, Let's see, subscription boxes, and uh, let's see, Jamie is asking, what else, what else? Uh, well, I mean, you dive into it, so stuff related to fitness, uh, stuff related to beauty, stuff related to uh, apparel, accessories, a lot of different things are popping off right now. It's not just one, um, and the name of the game is testing, test, 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 and that's what we're doing right now. So if you see my screen, you know, this is something where you can get ideas as far as what's popping off. And this will like, you know, lead you to the next thing. So let's see here. Here's top 60 life trends in May. What do you think, folks? You know, that might have some insight as far as what to dive into. Because the whole point of this, if you guys are, are wondering, is like get ahead of the curve. You know what I mean? Every product has a product life cycle. And a way to picture it is like, do you guys remember the fidget spinner? You guys remember the fidget spinner? Remember how uh, it was at its peak? And I remember my kids even paid $20 for a fidget spinner. Now, what can you imagine? So if it's a bell curve, is it at the peak? Pretty much that was like at the peak where so much demand uh, buying the product that I paid $20 for. Now, fast forward to today. You know, you couldn't give it away for free if you wanted to. People be like, ah, yeah, fidget spinner. That's at the end of its life cycle, that product life cycle. So just like stocks, you want to find products in that same way. And that's why you're looking at trends. And that's why you're studying the markets. And that's why you're looking at what people are interested in. But you don't want to catch a product when it's on the downward trend. You want to catch a product when it's on the upward trend. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, let's see on Instagram. What do we got here? Uh, what was the website you showed last live where it shows the products that are trending? Ooh, uh, really good question. I'll pull that up. It's called intelligence and I'll, I'll share my screen here. And Kenner said, what's the website I was just showing? That was called trend hunter. So trendhunter.com uh, was that one. That one's free. But this one's a paid tool here. This one's called Intelligence. And in Intelligence, and if you guys want to see my screen fully, you know, go to go to YouTube or Facebook and you could check it out there. And even drop some questions within there too. Um, but Intelligence, you know, this is where you get product insights. And they just released a new feature. They emailed me and they said, you know, check out and review this feature. They want to know more as far as performance, how it's doing. It's called espresso let me blow up my screen here to make it bigger so you guys can see okay so on the left here is that green tab it's called espresso and it's pointing out things so if we look at this this is still uh, one that that's being pointed out this one was popular this product right here and i bet it's still selling this sold for me when i did the uh drop ship by phone and uh, this sold for me. But here we can see, look at the trends. Does it look like an upward trend or a downward trend? And I'm waiting for a response. Downward, right? That's like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> so it's a downward trend. But historically, and this is, in, well, this is May. Um, and we could probably look further, but... Um, so this is showing the number of orders, and then it went down. Uh, most likely, I think it may come back. It's something to watch, but it's definitely a downward trend. And you guys are saying downward. Good. <laughs> All right. So this is a thing here. So now let's take a look at the next one and see. But this was a seller. This was a popular seller for Nazarati uh, that she uh, brought to uh, Six Figures, uh, which I remember. She did a lot until... Um, she has her own story um, related to that, but she's she's crushing it still to this day. Uh, let's look at this one. Now, does this look like a downward trend or upward trend? It 
Everyone's saying <laughs> upward, right? <laughs> so just like this, we can see boom, boom, and bow. Dang, this is really good. So this is an upward trend right now. And uh, this is real interesting. So let's take a look. Um, what kind of thing? Look at the number of stores that lifted. Um, so these are the number of the stores selling it. So we could see it's not saturated. Uh, right now it's at 11 stores. Do you think you could be number 12? Can you guys be number 12? Shoot. I mean, I'd say there could be 50 stores selling this thing and it, it wouldn't be what people call, oh, it's saturated. And even if people say that it's saturated, it's not a big deal because I know I could put on a better marketing cap. I can use the power of copywriting secrets. If you guys see copywriting secrets and I could use the power of this to sell this product better than most marketers or store owners, whatever you want to call them. Because a lot of people think you're just in the business of selling products. And when you think you're just in the business of selling products, you can only compete on price. But if you're in the business of making offers and irresistible offers, that's when you take the cake. So let's take a look at this and uh, find it on AliExpress and see what does it look like. All right. And then we can even look at the shopping stores that are selling it. And uh, let's take a look at one. There's Shopnez, Modern, Nays, Total Drop Shipping Stores. Look at this one selling mask, but then this phone is, is selling. All these stores look unrelated to this actual product, if you guys are catching. So they're definitely trying and testing thing, but the name of the game... Look at this one coming soon. So supposedly that means that they listed it, took some action with this product so far. And um, that's the end here. So some of them have been uh, closed down their stores. So these are the stores trying to sell it. And uh, But let's take a look at this AliExpress product here. Wow. Look at the price. So this is pretty cool. Um. And let's see what the video looks like. Oops. I moused over the wrong thing. So we're looking at the video. Yeah, it's a big time upward trend. I still don't know what this does. Contrast. Um, but for some reason, it's selling right now. Look at the orders. Uh, wow. And even another thing that, that you can do to track the orders is taking a look at uh, what's called um, the AliExpress Drop Shipping Center. Uh, have you guys heard of that before? Um, let me know if you guys want me to show that real quick. Have you guys heard of that, whoever is listening? Um, because that is, uh, that is an amazing thing too. I could show that if you guys want to see that. Um, I teach that quite a bit in some of the workshops. Um, but you could, you could look at the recent trends and basically this is showing it too. So this is showing the upward trends, uh, which is pretty cool for sure. So, uh, this is definitely worth testing. It's definitely worth testing, throwing it out there. And if we look at one of the stores to see, let's see what they're selling it as. This looks like a Brooklyn theme. I'll click on the iPhone. They got different cases. Hey, what do you know? Contrast case. What are they selling it for? $19.99, and this looks like uh, looks like euros to me. And um, all different colors. No reviews. But uh, yeah, traditional dropshipping store. Uh, the cost is between $2.50 and 
And the shipping. Let's see what shipping options. So this is what's tough right here. If we look at this, um, the person wouldn't get their order until like 30 days. So AliExpress standard shipping, 30 days. So that's the thing to manage. You got like 30 day shipping when you're just working with Chinese products. So my first thing is that I would look for US supplier of this and it's, it's especially if it has an upward trend, there's a potential to do that. So my next step would, would be to look for US suppliers on this. Um, but the seems it might have some interest. I, I still don't fully understand what's the uh, thing about the contrast but people are doing it. Somebody messaged coronavirus masks, question mark. And um, I probably wouldn't dive into that. Like, you know, trying to use those words, coronavirus, COVID-19, and all that stuff. Um, one, it's, it's automatically restricted, uh, and you need to have, like, uh, manual review and approval. And... It's not allowed to sell, you know, those medical uh, devices. But if it's more fast fashion centric, then you could do that for sure. Um, so I wouldn't uh, try to get into the medical masks uh, game um, because there's so many other things that you can do here for sure. Um, so let's see what else. I think we talked about the dog seat cover last time. Uh, let's just double check what upward trend. So maybe last time, I think it was last week, we saw an upward trend. And then now we see it leveling, which is pretty cool. So you can you can tell, like, I mean, we're going into spring and summer, and most likely people want to cover their back seats from their uh, dog's muddy paws, right? And a question, you do Amazon drop shipping or FBA? Uh, I am selling on Amazon. And uh, um, uh, the FBA, I have not been doing, at least currently, um, but uh, I've done it before. But, yeah, I'm on multiple platforms. So, you know, not just doing Shopify drop shipping. I do uh, multiple platforms related to, you know, eBay, Amazon, Shopify, and then also when I talk about funnels, taking uh, click funnels and wrapping it around there to be a better marketer and that's more powerful than anything and what most people don't talk about eventually i'll talk about that is like how do you use click funnels with amazon you know right now i talked about dropship funnels and that's with selling it on on uh you know wrapping it around shopify most people don't know how to use it around ebay and amazon that's huge too so eventually i'll, I'll share that and talk about that with you guys but there's so many opportunities, folks. Um, don't box yourself into one thing. I mean, keep keep the doors open. At the end of the day, it's all e-commerce. It's all online business. So don't just try to marry, you know, to a particular platform, even advertising. Uh, you know, on Thursdays, we talk about advertising. I mean, Facebook isn't the only way to advertise. There's like 10 other things you could do. And uh, that's where we talk about you know, street secrets. There's even that book, Traffic Secrets, that's coming out. You know, that kind of stuff you can get into. But um, uh, don't put yourself in a box. Be open and create your own mashups, and that's what puts you ahead of, of others. Uh, let's see. Let's look at some products. Let me know what catches your eye, if anything, here. But these things are popping off for sure. We could see the sales. Uh, people talked about this one here, and I'll share it for in Instagram. Um these little mini projectors. These things have been around for a while. Look at this upward trend. Wow. This is pretty cool. Um, and the reason why, because someone else had brought this up, this can actually fit on like the palm of your hand. Uh, let me pull it up on AliExpress here. So $33.00. Uh, shipping from China. Let's take a look at the video. So you wouldn't use this video as is. Like you would, uh, you know, you could take clips of it, but create your own creative. 
But that's uh looks like the projection that the little thing actually does, which is pretty cool. So if we look at it, small. Fits in one hand, which is pretty cool. And especially if people are more outdoorsy, out and about, uh, and then just to project something. And hopefully, does it project from the phone? Hopefully. That would be the thing, is like, does it does it work? Does it connect uh, from the iPhone? Um, there should be something like that. But we could see it had an upward upward trend that was going through. Uh, sales going to 863389 dollars. The product cost $33.99 and selling price $89 with a 62% profit margin. It was found four five months ago. And then also last found 14 days ago. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Let's look at the store trend. It's showing 10 stores that have been uh, sellers of it right now. The trend is going up. So stores are trending, starting to add this. So what does it tell you, especially if you're testing products, that you want to start testing this too, right? And uh, another question, Amazon drop shipping or, or wholesale? Um I don't fully understand the question, but uh, yeah, drop shipping uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. Let's look at the stores. Let's take a look and see what one of the stores is actually selling at. So it looks like the Brooklyn theme. And that rolling pin was a seller. Hot seller, folks. And that's uh, interesting that they're listing it. Um, these are all trendy products that the store has for sure. Um, I'm going to bookmark this store because I think this store is definitely one to follow. Uh, some of these products that are listed on this store, I've sold. Um, I've already saw, I already saw four, uh, five. <laughs> yeah, this store is selling a lot, and uh, let's see here. And they're currently selling. You can see, you know, stuff popping up on their store. One hour ago, bought the earrings. Uh, so let's see, what were we looking at? It was a projector, right? We don't even see the projector on here. Um, but here's a here's a cool trick, a cool hack. And let me see. We're gonna finish off with this. Uh, I need to find it first. So hold on. We're going to hack this site to find, okay, they got a bunch listed, but how would you guys like to see their best-selling product? Uh, let me know if you guys want to see what their best-selling product is. You can tell that they're selling, um, but if you want to see the best-selling, let me find the script to do this. So we're, it's called uh, hacking. We're going to hack this, uh, this store here to find out what their best-selling products is. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So just bear with me one second while I find it. And let's see. Yes, I found it. I found it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And more sophisticated stores would try to block this, but some of them don't. So if we look up here uh, and up at the top, if we see their, their address bar, see this collections slash holiday gifts, we're going to erase all that. Just end at the dot com. And then you're going to paste this query string that I just put here. And if you can read it, I'll bring it closer. If you can read it, it says collections all sort by best selling. So now I'm going to hit enter. I think they removed it. Look how uh, I just filtered to all and not not by best selling. Um, I think they put in a, a blocker for it. Yeah. So they're pretty sophisticated. And I think they put in a blocker for it because it would have, have held, it would have held true. 
But that that little uh, paste that that I put on there, I'd say you know let me let me put it right here on the screen so you guys can see this right here. This is what what you want to paste at the end of a Shopify store. Um, it's collections all sort by best selling, and even if they didn't have it, but some some sophisticated that know that don't want people to kind of uh, spy on their store uh, that, you know, uh, some will put a protection against it, but not all. So it's a pin it to the Insta story. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that. Um, I think I'll have to look up how to do pinning to the story, but uh, I'll definitely... I'll definitely look into that to, to save this. But this kind of tip, you know, this is the kind of thing when I talk about, you know, these little uh, ninja style strategies and things like that, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you can do uh, for it for sure. So um, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, I would say, you know, that we're coming to the end of the half hour here, but you saw a couple of cool products. Some of them that I'm actually going to throw out there. Everything's worth testing. You keep test, test, test. And uh, when you hear about it, some of the people that are crushing it, you know, doing million dollar producers, they're testing, you know, up to 100 products a week. So you got to be doing the same thing. So um, if, if you missed it, you can check the replay on YouTube or Facebook. Just just do a search Tech Money Talks. You'll find it. So if you missed it on Instagram, you can check it and actually get the full screen view on uh, YouTube as well. So it should be coming out here. But we do these kind of things daily, but today was targeting, finding, uh, winning products. And um, and I think it was pretty cool. I think we found a couple that have the upward trend. So like I told you guys, there's every product has a life cycle, just like stocks. So this is the end of the live. Uh, I got a lot to do to, to uh, start working on, but uh, thanks for uh, sticking around. And we'll talk tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be... Uh, we talk about ads that sell, and uh, it's really cool stuff here. So um, that that's going to be uh, coming up tomorrow, 2 p.m., and there we're going to get into the marketing and things like that and different techniques. So be sure to check it out tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.